we are still um, at the confrontation in Ukraine between Russia and um, Ukraine, as then Putin insists on trying to reclaim Ukraine from the NATO. Um, as the confrontation continues to grow up with the invasion and everything, we've compiled top 10 videos about the Ukraine and Russian crisis. Um, these videos try to explain the ongoing crisis in Ukraine, the involvement of NATO, the insistence of Putin, the resilience of Zelensky, and then um, the world at large. So we try to, as much as possible to get clips all over the world concerning this ongoing crisis in um, Ukraine, how the people are trying to respond to it, how the world is trying to respond, how Zelensky is trying to defend his country, Ukraine. It's a camarade, Putin, nah. the president of Russia, is trying to push forward his agenda. Um, his brother, oh, um, the first video we have here is the video of President Zelensky trying to cheer with some of his um, group members um, in the ongoing war in Ukraine. You can see the president here trying to have a drink with um, his fellow compatriot in the battlefield. We also have another video here. This is the video of the current crisis now in um, the city of Ukraine, Kiev, where there is a, a serious confrontation between the Russian troops and the Ukrainian troops. There is a shooting here in Kiev. The serious shooting business has been flying up and down here in the city. And they are just praying that we don't have much casualties here. As a lot of things have been recorded already. So we are just praying that um, these shootings will just end as shootings are being affected. We can only pray for the best here because uh, it seems that the two countries are not yet backing off from this uh, confrontation. So, uh, actually, it's so so terrible. But I can actually get yourself um, a very good opportunity to have a look at the video. The gun shots and um, the shells, the missiles, it's so so frightening. Yeah, in that video here we have a group, a group of uh, civilians that died at, um, outside um, the city here in Estonia trying to protest against the invasion of uh, Ukraine by Putin. You can just stick it at the video here, please. Yeah, on the other hand, funnily enough, we have um, some Russians, uh, some Ukrainians actually outside Odessa trying to wait with their cocktails waiting for Russian troops. <laughs> this is so funny. Actually, it's just about the video of um, how Russia is able to gun down a oh, bad fighter oh, oh, to oh, Russia oh, in oh, 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 here and I'm sorry, in the cave. So, 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 able to gun down such a heavy aircraft. It's a camaraz, nahui. Shut up, camaraz. Opa, opa, opa. Nasahi, ebay. Nasahi, padai vier. Blya. More interesting of all this news is just the um, the recognition of a Ukrainian um, submarine engineer, probably known as um, Vitaly Shakon, who blew himself up to prevent Russian troops from invading um, their country through Crimea. Like this guy blew himself up to stop the invasion of Russian troops through Crimea. So the president recently honored him as a national hero. Um, that's so so uh, commendable. On the other hand, China, in responding to this crisis, has actually moved their troops to, to a warlike fashion. Like the troops have been started or have been moved um, to a war mode. That's the training, I mean, serious military training over here in China.